What? What? What's up, guys? So, welcome to the second part of our Wagaman vlog, and this vlog is about. Zostel Bagaman. Yeah. Yes, guys. So we own this place. You can see it right behind us. Look at the view, and it's so windy. Yeah, it's such a windy day, and see where we are sitting. <laughs> <laughs> it's so scary. It's a giant hammock. Yeah. So, so fun cool to also. be. Yes. Yeah. Seriously, guys, this is the best place to chill. So let's take you around, show you what Zostel is first, and then we'll come back talk about Zostel. Yeah. I'll fly now. Ah. <laughs> we get a lot of questions about what Zostel is, what it's like, uh, what our backpack is. So many questions. So we thought we'll just clear it all out. Uh, we we'll share it. all the experience, everything with you all. Question, what is Zostel? Zostel is basically a backpackers franchise. They are the number one franchise in India right now. So it's all about cutting cost and having a really great experience. That's and, what the concept is. And maybe is. they come as solo and then go back like in a group, right? Yes, yes. Most of these guys come here uh, as solo travelers, but Trust me, solo travel doesn't mean you are solo. Yeah. You make friends, you talk to people, you make friends, you travel together. That is what, what the whole experience is about. And so, we are like a family over here. Yep. So in Zostel, we actually have four dorms and two private rooms. Now let's see our room. Guys, we are off for an activity from Zostel, so we are going to an uh, unexplored place. This is the first time for everyone here, so we don't know where it is. Let's see how it goes. So the activities cost anywhere from 250 to 700 in Zostel. 700 is a really long activity. 250 would be somewhere like a really cool trek nearby. Let's see how this one is. It's a really cool place according to the locals here. So they told us about this, and we are going. See ya. Hey guys, we have reached. Check this place out. Oh my god. Did I say hi? hi. <laughs> Amazing place. Uh, we should name this place something soon <laughs> because this is too good to be hidden. <laughs> We are having a really windy day here in Bhagavan. So Anjali is making dinner for everyone today. Let's go and see what it is. So for dinner, in Zostel Bhagavan, we always have one dish per meal uh, in uh, for dinner and lunch. 
so wedge version would cost you around 120 rupees non wedge would be 150 breakfast will cost around 80 to 95 it's all buffet style and today let's see how yamza the food is because she she's just preparing it let's go guys hey guys so anjali is making dinner for everyone today yes garam garam chapatis and dal fry and Ooh. <laughs> You need to go to zostel.com and register in their entrepreneurship development program. So there are a lot of questions to fill out, all the formalities, blah blah, you will see it all there. They will get back to you with an answer. So the most important thing, it's your location. So many of you guys were asking us the cost for setting up a zostel. Uh, so Balu. Yeah, uh, so it really depends on your interiors, your structure, your building, how many beds there are, all those things. But like, first of all, let me clear this out to you. Zostel is not going to, you know, do all your interiors and hand it out to you in a silver platter. No, that's not how it works. It's basically up to us on how we have, we have to do the interiors. We can use our creativity totally. Yeah, but then they do have you guidelines and they will be helping you from start to end. They'll be with you from with the any scratch. question. Yes. And uh, the but the thing is the investment, the whole investment is yours. Uh, but to give you a round figure for an average hostel, I think it should be around 20 lakhs, uh, which would cover all the interiors and bed and everything. They have given a perfect break breakout in their uh, website on how you can set it up, how much it should cost. That should be able to help you a lot. So a lot of people ask me about what the vibe in Zostel is about. Why I keep saying the vibe is so awesome, the vibe is so cool. It's just like you know, it's it's all about the people here. They are of they are all of like 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 very like-minded people who who are all travelers who are coming to meet new people, share the experiences and just have fun they these people are of different backgrounds different culture different gender they all come here to make new friends and they share their experiences like you you I'll just show you some uh, videos of how we get together at night and just have a lot of fun just uh, musical nights open mics mafia nights it's all about you know meeting new people our activities are all based on that just with people gelling together not like how it's in a resort where you are just sitting by yourself and just you know doing whatever it is that you guys are doing it's all about traveling together and sharing that experience which makes traveling awesome let's see something That was Sudarshan on vocals and strings. He's from Bangalore. He came with his friends 
and we had an awesome day that that night it was yeah. brilliant yeah so that is what zoss is all about you know giving or creating a platform for people to just be themselves and just yeah. enjoy and have just have some fun not so, judging anyone yeah, meeting a lot of people exactly yeah. so you guys must actually be thinking now like is owning or running a zoss hostel as fun as it sounds yeah well you know guys this is a business in the hospitality industry so yes there is going to be lot of good and bad times there are going to be lot of people cribbing and asking you a lot, lot of questions. people from different background you know different attitudes and character yeah. and all that so yeah yeah there are going to be bad and good times so it's it's all about are you a hostel type of person are uh, like i think this goes for any hostel backpackers hostel that you run are you a traveler do you enjoy mingling with people talking to them sharing your experiences hearing them they say their stories all these things if you are one of those guys who enjoys you know being with a crowd and actually mingling with them and enjoying their stories then definitely hostel is for you and we love it we love how things are happening and every day it's different yeah it's like we have so much fun there we en- we enjoy you know the crowd that comes in we enjoy their stories we sit with them have fun with them and i think you know just the fact that we love it and our staff has been amazing i think this is the reason this could be the reason why we have been topping the hostel charge from the time almost from the time that we started like we have been rocking it guys yeah. so we love the place we love the vibe we enjoy everything we enjoy the whole crowd so if you are one of those guys definitely go for it start a hostel enjoy the crowd travel hear the stories sure. yeah on that note i think it's time to wind up this vlog yes guys hope you enjoyed you know listening to what hostelers and how we run things there yeah so, we just said all that from our heart yes it so. is yeah it really is something very close to our heart so hope you guys enjoyed that video and we'll be coming back with something really amazing soon yes so, so please do give us a lot of feedback about all the videos we have done so far yes and please do like share and subscribe, subscribe. and don't forget to comment and ask us anything that you want to know about bagaman hope you guys enjoyed it so until next time ba 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 oops made up you guys want to listen to that this one's called flames yeah, yeah. trade mark with you another old game sweep played another flames that did fail truth be told all our dreams are so all the fight that we had all the flames that did fail So true to my game I did hope it would change For my pride is you My only find is you No, my pride is you
Thank you. Good, good. They're really good. This next one's a Coldplay song. It's called Clock. Yeah. Cool.